Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Longgast. Welcome to Asian at Home with the new kitchen. So, anyways, since we moved to a bigger space, beautiful Texas, new journey just started. So, anyway, so today, since we are here in a new place, I was like, oh, I want to upload a new noodle recipe, like a new ramen recipe. But all my ramen recipe has been like a really complicated and really time consuming. So, I decided to do something like something easy and simple for all of you. So, I decided to share super easy tantan men. Tantan men is a Japanese ramen version of. Chinese dandan noodles. So if you want to know the real deal dandan noodles, go ahead and check it out this link right here. Or let's jump into tantan men recipe. First, we're going to make tare, the flavor base. So in a small mixing bowl, go ahead and add three tablespoons of tzuyu. Tzuyu is a Japanese seasoned soy sauce that has soy sauce, mirin, sake, the boiled all together with dashi broth. The dashi broth is katsuobushi broth, the smoked bonito flakes. It has a lot of umami, little slight sweetness and savory. It's really amazing in this recipe. Two tablespoons of tahini, sesame seeds paste. One to two tablespoons of my homemade chili oil. So I do have this chili oil recipe right here. Go ahead and check it out. You make once, you will never go back to store. Trust me, this chili oil is so good. It's the best chili oil ever. Mix everything together and set aside. All right, are you ready to make this super duper easiest ramen broth ever? So in a pot, add one cup of water. All the broth must start with water, okay? And then two cups of soy milk. So make sure this is not sweetened soy milk. Soy milk is actually has been secret for Japanese home cooks for a long time to uh, mimicking tonkotsu ramen without boiling pork bones for days. You know what I mean? It has that milky white color, but it also have a really nice and smooth, creamy, silky texture, which is just works amazing for any quick ramen noodle recipe like this. And for the flavor, we are going to add two teaspoons of chicken powder or chicken bouillon. Cover and turn the heat to medium and bring them to light simmer. Now go ahead and bring medium to large size pot of water to boil. Add a little pinch of salt. So heat a wok or a skillet over high heat. Add two tablespoons of chili oil, chopped garlic, and ginger. Stir fry all together about a minute. Then add one tablespoon of dubanjang, Chinese chili bean paste. It is spicy, savory, key ingredients for tantamen. Also add one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Stir fry the sauce and the garlic and ginger with the chili oil all together. This way we will bump up all the flavor from the sauce. About a minute later, go ahead and add a half pound of ground pork. If you don't want to use pork for this recipe, you can use beef, chicken, turkey, or even impossible meat. Break down the meat with the sauce and keep stir frying. Now go ahead and add about three tablespoons of cooking wine and deglaze all the bottom of the wok. You don't see any more moisture in the wok and the pork is fully cooked. Then turn off the heat and set aside and keep it warm. And we are going to blanch our bok choy that we cleaned up earlier. Remove the bok choy from the water, drain, and set aside. And now we are going to blanch bean sprouts. Tomorrow 
today I'm going to use this fresh ramen noodles from Sun Noodles. They are based on Hawaii. I love their noodles, uh, especially when I'm making ramen noodles. This is not sponsored. I just want you to let you know what brand of the noodles that I'm, I'm using because a lot of you always ask me uh, what product I'm using. So anyways, I'm gonna use this fresh ramen noodles, but if you cannot find this fresh ramen noodles, you can definitely use dried ramen noodles, or egg noodles, or even instant ramen noodles too. So anyways, I'm going to drop my noodles into the boiling water and it will take about one to two minutes to cook. So in the meanwhile, in a serving bowl, I'm going to combine the half of tare, the seasoning sauce, and half of the broth that we made earlier. Combine them together well, drain the cooked ramen noodles, then add into the soup. Put the noodles with the broth once and then fold it over nicely. You know, this little skill and technique that every time when we might making ramen noodles, I show you like. Top the ramen noodles with blanched bean sprouts, bok choy, the pork, ramen egg. I have a ramen egg recipe right here, so go ahead and check it out. Super easy to make. I always make it and have it in the house so when we are feeling like eating ramen noodles, it's ready to go. And the ramen egg actually lasts in the refrigerator up to five days. So go ahead and feel free to make ahead. Chop the green onions, sesame seeds, and shansho powder, shansho powder, san, san show powder. And this is it, guys. So simple and easy. Hanyeol and Jacob already tasted the ramen noodles that I made it for the video. This is how they enjoyed it. Can you guys get together a little closer? Um, we don't like each other. Oh my god, that's so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. We're just quickly eating right now before we get the beauty shot. That was the uh, video beauty mm. shot. Mm. So before it gets cold, so they just wanted to eat right mm. now. That's so good. <laughs> By the way, we're we're still we're still going. <laughs> Guys, if you liked my Tantan Man easy, easy Tantan Ramen recipe, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longast, and this is Asian at home. If you try my recipe, please go ahead and take a picture or video and tag me Sanggyeong Longgas and share with me either TikTok or uh, Instagram, Facebook so I can see it, like it, and give you a comment. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye guys!